Okay, I'd like to make a brief statement before we begin. Harborside Marina is still open and operating under the precautions of the coronavirus. And uh, I've got a lot of requests for some questions. So I'd like to open up the floor now. David, let's start with you. If I were to buy a boat today, how soon can I get it in the water? That's a good question, Dave. Um, it really depends on the boat that you're buying. If you're buying a pre-owned boat, most of them are pretty much ready to go. So we can get them in the water pretty quickly for you. If you're buying a new boat, um, depending on what kind of electronics or bottom paint that we have to do, uh, we can usually turn the boat around in three to five days, uh, which is perfect because it allows you to get your financing and your insurance and everything set up. Uh, we can uh, confirm a delivery date and get you in the water and uh, do orientation with you then. Uh, Tom. Uh, thanks, John. Uh, can I get financing on a boat right now? What are the uh, rates and terms looking like? That's an excellent question, Tom. Uh, yes, you can finance your boat. In fact, that's the silver lining to this whole mess is that the financing is um, producing super low interest rates and boat financing has always had low uh, long terms which makes payments really affordable for people uh, and the nicest part about this whole transaction is it can be done remotely we actually will email you documents you can sign them FedEx them back to us and there's no need for any contact whatsoever um, Mike How does that work for your company? Excellent question, Mike. Um, although we are still open, um, we are suggesting that if customers want to come in and look at boats, that they do so by an appointment. That way we can um, keep our social distancing and allow people to come in, look through our showrooms, look at boats. We can explain from a distance. Um, we've also done a lot of remote uh, walkthroughs on boats where we can actually FaceTime you, go through the boat, um, explain features and benefits, answer questions one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we do have all of our listings online with uh, excellent pictures and, and details and so forth. Uh, and believe it or not, even before this uh, crisis, we've sold many, many, many boats with the customer never coming into our showroom before and delivering it. So we're pretty much uh, set up to do that. Um, Angie. That's a great question, and the answer is yes. In fact, we have probably our best selection of late model pre-owned boats we've had in years, uh, which we've been trying to build up to be able to offer boats to customers that you know maybe can't afford a brand new boat and love the style of the new boat, but want to buy one that's two or three years old um, that somebody else has owned and we've maintained. Um, so yeah, we have uh, we have pre-owned Chris Crafts, we have pre-owned cruisers, uh, we have pre-owned center consoles. Uh, so whatever you, your type of boating is, yeah, we can definitely find something that's maybe more affordable than a new boat, um, turnkey, ready to go, and uh, fits into your budget. Tom. Thanks again, John. Um, if I wanted to order a boat right now, how long would that take to get to me? Uh, good question, Tom. Um, well, we have pretty good inventory in stock right now. Uh, we probably have most of every model from the brands that we carry, Sea Hunt, Chris Craft, and uh, Bennington. Um, but if you did want to order a specific boat and we had to go to the factory to order it, uh, with Sea Hunts, we're probably looking into sometime into May, with Chris Craft sometime into June. But within the dealer network, we have access to everybody's boats within the country. So it's quite possible that we can find a boat that fits your exact needs from another dealer and we can get it for you immediately. Dave. Be able to make a trade happen on that? Absolutely, Dave. Um, basically, what we will ask you to do is send us information on your boat, uh, make model year, hours, condition. Uh, what we will do, uh, our sales team will go in and actually create what I call a balance sheet, which is how your boat looks in the market as of right now today. And we'll look at book values from two different books. We look at um, our broker site, which tells us what these boats have sold for in the past uh, 360 days as well as what is listed in the market right now. And basically from that information, we can say, all right, well, this is a range where we think your boat can sell from, and this is a range um, that we think we can give you on trade. Uh, then we can go to your place, inspect the boat, and give you an exact number on it. Um, and the nice thing about trades is, you're gonna save the sales tax on the net difference of what you're trading in, as well as we love to get trades because 
once again, we can offer them to people that can't afford that particular boat new. Yeah. Beto. Obrigado. Sí, I'll tell you. What Beto was asking in Portuguese was, um, do I have a place? To, do I have a place here that he can keep his boat? And uh, the simple answer is yes. Uh, we offer in water slips. Uh, we have rack storage, um, and we have cradle storage here as well. Uh, so we can uh, help you find a place to keep your boat right here, or if you are keeping your boat somewhere else in the state, we know most of the local marinas and boat yards around, and we can uh, make a phone call on your behalf and find a place for you to keep it down there as well. Uh, in addition, if you'd like to trailer your boat, uh, we can get a trailer for you, and we always sell our trailers at, at our cost because we don't stock them. Um, we can put the boat on a trailer, teach you how to load it, unload it, and um, you can use it at any local ramp. Um, Elsmar. Hi, John. We do uh, all the extracts for a new boat. And uh, do you need a light to drive a boat? Okay, for those of you who didn't hear Elsmar's question in the back, he said, do we offer instruction for new boaters? And do you need a license to drive a boat? Uh, and the simple answer is, uh, yeah, that's our specialty. Uh, we love to teach um, new boaters how to boat. Um, we teach them from soup to nuts, the how to how to tie a boat up, how to drive a boat, how to dock a boat, how to maintain a boat. And the nice thing is uh, with our, our captain orientation, uh, you're gonna learn everything correctly. You're not gonna learn it from a friend who, who might not know all the real ins and outs of everything. Uh, we teach you um, uh, every aspect of, of owning and driving and maintaining a boat. Um, and we offer continued lessons down the road. So if you, um, you know, you need a refresher next year or need a refresher in a couple of months, uh, we can certainly help you. We want you to be comfortable on the water. We want you to be using the boat as much as possible. Um, so that's super easy for us and we love to do it. Uh, as far as licensing goes, yeah, you do need a license in Connecticut. Uh, it's an eight hour class. Um, it's a um, uh, instruction class only, which teaches you rules of the road and mostly book stuff. Um, not of the, none of the stuff that you're gonna learn on our, our orientation will be in that class because ours is more hands-on uh, and this is more of a, a book test. Um, but the nice thing is if you do buy a boat, you can get a temporary license until you have time to take that uh, take that test uh, with DEP. Uh, yes, Mike. I was wondering with the freight that we're dealing with, has Connecticut done anything to lower the tax or do anything with the sales tax or taxes in town to be able to afford these boats? All right. This is the greatest part about boats in Connecticut. There is no personal property tax on boats, which means you pay uh, registration uh, every year and you pay sales tax when you buy a boat. The greatest thing about that is uh, last year, uh, the Connecticut sales tax was reduced to 2.99% for all boats sold in the state of Connecticut. So I think we have one of the lowest sales tax rates on boats in the country. Oh yes, uh, Angie in the front row. John, with motor vehicles closed, um, how do we get the boat registered if I should buy one? Excellent question, Angie. And uh, this is something that really doesn't matter what time of year it is, we take care of it all. So we will register your boat. We can do it in-house. We do not need to go to motor vehicles. Um, we're set up to do it right here. We'll actually put the uh, CT numbers that we have custom done right on the boat for you. Uh, and we give you a temporary registration and they'll mail it to you in 60, 90 days and uh, we're all set. Uh, Dave, front row. John, thank you for the acknowledgement. Uh, quick question, do I need to purchase any supplies to operate my vessel or is it completely turnkey? Uh, great question, Dave. Um, all of our boats come the same way, completely turnkey. Um, we rig the boat, we do everything needs to do mechanically on the boat. Um, Boat comes with a full tank of fuel. Boat comes with a, a, a full custom Coast Guard package fit to that boat. Um, full captain instruction. It comes with everything you need to walk off the dock and go. Uh, the only suggestion I would say is if you have young kids, uh, you may want to go to a local store or even come in here and have your kids fitted for life jackets so that's something that they can comfortably wear on the boat. The stuff that we're giving you is more stowaway in case of emergency. Um, but yeah, everything comes uh, fully detailed, full fuel, turnkey ready to go the day you come.
Uh, last question, um, Tom. Thanks, John, for letting me get uh, one last question in. Do you really think this is a good time to buy a boat right now with the financial and medical crisis going on in the country? You know, Tom, thanks, thanks for the hardball question, but uh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna be 100% honest with you right now. Um, yeah, I believe, I believe it is a good time to buy a boat. I mean, granted, first and foremost, you gotta put food on the table for your family, but um, being on a boat with your family is probably some of the most valuable memories you're ever gonna create. And I hear too many stories of, of, of people that have worked their whole entire life and, and all for this retirement time, and I'm gonna buy a boat when I turn 65 years old, and, and they end up getting to that place in their life, and they have all the money they need, they have their house paid off, they have everything else, and, and their health kicks in, and they're not able to do any of the things that they planned their whole entire life. And you know what? Listen, I wouldn't suggest pulling money out of the stock market right now, um, but financing a boat right now, the rates are as low as they've been in decades. Um, Self-quarantining, there's no better place than being out on a boat. Um, spending time with your family, I mean, it, it, it really is, it's, it's priceless. And I, I, I think that uh, a lot of people look at it as it's a hassle. And yeah, owning a boat isn't easy, it doesn't take care of itself. Um, but anything that is worth your while is a hassle. And I just think of listening to stories of, of, of older generations telling me how their grandfather used to take them out on a boat and they remember this and they learned, you know, they learned how to um, varnish their boat and bottom paint their boat with their parents and they learned how to drive their boat. I mean, those are the type of memories that you don't get by buying a car. Uh, nobody ever told me a great story about uh, a wonderful time they had commuting into the city in their $100,000 car. Um, and I think that what a boat does is it brings people together, um, it brings families together, and uh, yeah, it is definitely an expense, um, but it's an expense that actually, I think, pays, pays you back in uh, tenfold. Um, listen, money comes and goes. Uh, it's the experiences in life that really matter. And, I mean, everything that gives you the experiences has a cost to it. Uh, I, I have a pool in my backyard, and I can tell you how many times I use it. I can probably count on two hands how many times I've used it in the last couple of years. But you know what? I remember my kids jumping pool, parties in the pool. Uh, yeah, I have maintenance. I got to put it away. I got to clean it. I got to put chemicals in it. It, it, it yeah, it's it's expensive. Uh, it it takes time. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I would not not have a pool in my house right now because I, I love the experiences that I remember my kids growing up, uh, and that's what I think a boat does for you as well. Um, listen, I'm going to cut this short right now. Um, there's a lot of things going on right now. I want to thank everybody for coming in. I uh, just want to remind everybody, uh, local people here in, in Clinton, that we. Uh, we're able to secure some marine toilet paper from our vendor. Um, if you need to come down and get some, we're, we're limiting it to uh, two rolls or two packages per family. Um, you can just give us a call and we'll put it aside for you and you can come pick it up. Um, and uh, hope through this press conference and everybody uh, staying together and spending time with their family that we all get through this. and. Uh, Looking forward to a good, good spring and summer this year. Thank you.